to your child like God is to us. And you get to love on your child unconditionally. You're the first thing your child understands to get to God. You know, it's a wonderful thing. You know, I say it like this. Just as when you are in your uh, season of singleness and you have transitioned to get married and you have to understand you have to be selfless uh, because you have someone else in your life. Well, in the same way, having a child is being selfless. It's, you know, it's like, okay, what does my child need? All right, even if you're tired, if your child is hungry, your child needs to be fed. Even if you're, even if you're tired, your child needs to be changed. Then you have, you know, it's your responsibility as the. Welcome to Butterfly Ambassadors. This is Carlton Cogdell. I am the husband of Jalisa Cogdell, and she, my wife has given her experience on what it's like being pregnant for the second time. And I'm gonna give my reaction to when I found out about the uh, pregnancy. And I'm also gonna give some advice and some tips and some wisdom to men who maybe your first time becoming a father, or just how to do it the Christian way and how to trust God. So first, before we do anything, we're gonna pray. So let's pray. Lord God, we love you. We thank you for who you are, Lord God. Thank you for all things. Have your way, God. Be blessed, be glorified. Have your way, Lord God. May you touch all who watch today, male or female, Lord God. Help them if they already have children or if they haven't had children yet. And they're waiting on you and so they can trust you and anything that they're trusting you for. May you the glory once again, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So, first, my reaction to when I found out the news that my wife was having our second child or being pregnant with our second child, should I say. So, for me, um, you know, being that, you know, I'm so, you know, we're so dedicated and focused on what we do and, and that we have our first child who, by the way, is going to be turning one on September 1st. And, you know, that, that's, that's, that's what's on my mind and everything. And I do admit I was surprised when she, when she gave me the news. And, and the way that she sh showed me, she, um, she showed me a video that she had made when she did the pregnancy test and showed how the test had, you know, showed that she was pregnant. Um, but prior to, maybe about a week or so prior to, I noticed my wife was having some symptoms. She was feeling very tired. And what I was mean, she was just so tired. That was the biggest thing I noticed she was tired, like more than usual. Was, okay, I'm taking note. Okay, she's sleeping a little bit longer than usual here. And I kept it in, in the back of my mind, I was, I was watching. Um, but then when she showed me the video, it really let me know, wow, like, she's pregnant, you know, she's pregnant again. And it, it was awesome, you know. Um, for me, I'm thankful for every blessing that God gives. I, I'm thankful for um, marriage, I'm thankful for our first child, Jukariana, and I'm thankful for our next child. And so just seeing that, I was like, wow, like, look at God. As soon as she showed me, I was like, okay, she showed me this. I was making sure I watched the whole video. I didn't want to assume anything. So I watched him, okay, okay, oh, okay, and then there we go, we have another child. And and I'm like, wow, like, Lord, you're so good. Like, we could have another child. Me and my wife, we love children. So I'm like, wow, you know? And I, I was really surprised, but as I said before, I also had a clue just on how tired she was. But man, you know, it's like, look at God. God is amazing, he's wonderful. He's so wonderful, but um, my, my wife got me and I was like, you know what? God is good. He's always on time. And because I know that she's such a great mother and I'm such a, you know, God's helped me to be the father that I am that can please him. I'm like, Lord, let's go. You know, this is exciting. We get to bring someone else into this world that can glorify you. And you get to use me to help this child glorify you. So I, I may say some more, but those are the nuts and bolts. Now, here are some things for people 
especially men who are going to have their first child or how to do it the Christian way. First, I'll say this. Number one, who you trust in God. Don't look at it like, oh my goodness, I'm having a child. What am I going to do? Or all my other friends who are married and have children, they're telling me all this bad stuff. Or I see all these movies. And I, no. Number one is trust God. What is God saying to you? God is saying to you, trust him. Trust him. Just like God gave Jesus to Mary, to steward, but God is the actual father. He gives us a child to steward and he's the actual father. So we give our children right back to God. That's how you don't have stress, no pressure. It's God, my child is yours and God help me to raise my child. Help me to be there for my child. You can pray, God help me to be a good father. Help me to be a dedicated, faithful father. Help me, Lord God, I need you. Let's say, you don't, let's say you don't have a father figure in your life, or like your actual father, or you don't know your father figure or stepfather, or you know whoever's in your life and you just don't know how to do it, let God teach you. You know, read Genesis and see that God is the father. Look at God the father and how he was to Jesus, you know, in the Bible, you know, like look at the relationship between him and us. Look at the parables. Look at the, the father with the prodigal son and how the prodigal son came back to the father after he left the first time and the father ran right to him and embraced him and forgave him. And you realize having a child, you get to be a father figure to your child like God is to us. And you get to love on your child unconditionally. You're the first thing your child understands to get to God. You know, it's a wonderful thing. You know, I say it like this, just as when you are in your uh, season of singleness and you have to transition to get married and you have to understand you have to be selfless uh, because you have someone else in your life. Well, in the same way, having a child is being selfless. If you know, it's like, okay, what does my child need? All right, even if you're tired, if your child is hungry, your child needs to be fed. Even if you're even if you're tired, your child needs to be changed. Then you have, you know, it's your responsibility as the parent to do it. So now coming to the role of a father and being the role of a husband who's a father is this. You're having your child, trust God, it's gonna be okay. Pray. If you're gonna look at YouTube videos or any videos, or even talk to someone, talk to someone or watch videos. The people who have faith in God. The people who don't worry, don't stress. If they worry and stress, that's only going to make you worry and stress. Look at someone who is, uh, is peaceful and trusting God. Someone that has a supernatural childbirth. You know, and, and you can look at things and maybe there can be a link in the, the description that you can understand what supernatural childbirth is. But you want to... You want to feed yourself the right thing so you're not scared and fearful and worried. No, trust God. He's with you. Guess what? Financially, oh man, now I got to get diapers and I got to get bottles and clothes and all these things. And I got to provide for my child, you know, for years and years and years and years, right? Until they move out of the house, right? And and now I, I, have to, I have to give wisdom to my children. They're going to ask me questions. Dad, what's the scripture in the Bible? Oh man, oh I gotta help my school. Or all this stuff over life events. Guess what? All those things. God will help you out with all those things. Trust God. He'll do it. Don't look at your own strength and think, how do I do this myself? No, God's here to help me. The Holy Spirit's here to show me. So that's how you trust God with having a child. Don't look at it as a bad thing. It's a great thing. It's a blessing of a child. Look at it this way. God trusts you like he trusted Mary. Like he trusted Mary to have Jesus. He's trusting you to have your child. He's trusting you. So know that God's equipped you to be able to be there with your child. So it's a blessing. Now, let's say it's not your first child. It's still a blessing. Let's say the first time didn't go so well. The first time it was more difficult. Guess what? It's all right. This time you can trust God. Trust God for better. Trust God for better. And let's go here. As a husband, be there for your wife so your wife 
um, needs encouragement or your wife needs understanding or maybe God will speak to you to speak to your wife or maybe she needs you to go to the store to grab something for her for the baby or for her maybe you need to grab something to eat for your wife because you know maybe her taste buds may change or something or maybe she's not hungry at the moment or maybe she needs to drink water so just be there and God will lead you God will teach you and you can be to be encouraged so that's what I have for you today and thanks for watching may be encouraged and know that God can do it and trust God I'm going to pray for you Lord God, we love you. Thank you for who you are, Lord God. Thank you for all things. Either for those who are watching, whatever they watch, male or female, husband or wife. Lord God, may they trust you and they have their child and not worry and know you with them. May they know, Lord God, that they can trust you and that you are the protection. Not a shot, not a mask. You are the protection. So they have no need to fear. In this age of where a lot of people are fearing, may people trust you. May people trust you with their children, knowing that their children are safe because you're the one that protects. Your protection is bigger than a vaccine. Your protection is bigger than a mask. Your protection is bigger than isolation and trying to quarantine. Your protection number one and you're with lead your people have your way oh God we love you oh God we praise your name in Jesus name amen now you've heard this take heed to the word on today may you be blessed know that God loves you God has so much for you that you don't have to be and you do not have to be afraid just listen to what God is saying have your way oh God we love you God and thank you for listening have your way oh God is and thank you for watching Butterfly Ambassador. And just like and subscribe. And also hit the notification button as well. So you can see the videos firsthand. And know these videos are anointed and blessed. Because God is speaking. Whether they're videos, cooking videos. Whether they're hair videos. Whether they're videos of money motivation. Whatever the videos are, they will bless your life. If you're blind. Yeah.